A warm afternoon in Kumamoto for the first game this city hosts. And it's France against Tonga. France, a win, and they're through to the quarterfinals. It is light, balmy, warm, humid, perfect for open rugby. Good crowd inside the Kumamoto Stadium. In good cheer. In vibrant colours. Good afternoon, Chris. Good afternoon, Eddie. Looking forward to this one again. This is the sixth time these two teams have met. France are leading 3-2. And there's a Tongan team just leaving the field after the warm-up. A lot will, to play for. They will be cheered by what happened at the World Cup of 2011. They beat France in the pool stages. Mathematically, Tonga can still qualify. They need to win both their games, and France and Argentina need to lose theirs. England sit on top of Pool C, three wins out of three, with a bonus point with each victory. Four points for a win, one bonus point for four tries or more. France, quite simple, a win today, they're through. France have rung a few changes, they've changed their captain again. Very difficult to get inside the mind of France at the World Cup, but um, so far, so good. Two wins out of two. Yeah, now a win against Argentina, 23 points to 21 in the opening round, and then overcome the USA, 33 points to nine. They're just so effective when they're on their game, France. But the Discipline will have to improve. Their discipline has been poor, giving away more penalties on average than any other team. So that will be a, a focus for the French team this afternoon. Jacques Brunel is the head coach of this French team. And they have great power and thrust in the three-quarter line. Oliveretti, Raka, and Vakatawa comes into the team. A youngster at outside half, Romain Untamak. Yeah, well, new captain Jefferson Poirot, that loose head, Camille Sharp operates in that hooker berth ahead of Garado again, and the experienced Slamani on the tight head side. Sebastian Varmina comes into the second row, a legitimate second row. Paul Gabriac, well, he's a back rower like all these three players. Keep an eye on Gregory Aldrit, outstanding prospect. Well, Baptiste Saran came on against the USA and made a big difference, and 20 year old Roman Intermat is someone we all like to see play well. Jitun and Vakatawa continue the power and the pace in the midfield and we expect more line breaks from them. Raka and the young Damien Penault on the wing, the veteran now, Maxime Medar at fullback. Replacements, Guillaume Girado, the squad captain, the, the group captain. He'll no doubt come on and have an influence. Tonga, well, they've played two games, they opened up against England and lost to them, and then they lost to Argentina. But they will keep going right through these pool stages. Giving up simply is not in their vocabulary. They all play their rugby around the world, but they come together to represent their islands, And it's just a massive front row, isn't it? Ingoamu, the hooker, is a, a live wire. Expect big ball cars from Lucy and Fafita. Offer a lot of height in the second row, be key line options for Tonga. Mama Vaipulu will be a strong carrying number eight. Zane Capelli on the flank and Sione Kalamafoni, the flanker. Danny Takalu at nine will be the goal kicker and Faiva will try and direct his team around the park for number 10. Siali Piutau is the captain, brother of Charles, the All Black. The back three has tried scoring prowess. Vianu had a terrific World Cup in 2015 for the Tungas. Cooper Vuna and Halo Fafuna on their flanks. 
There has been a change on the subs bench. Daniel Faleafa comes in to wear 19, a late replacement for Steve Maffey. It has been such a feature of these World Cup games that everybody goes into costume just about. And the French, I reckon, are in gold medal position. When you see the Revolutionary Army, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> Some occasion, is it? Travelling support, mixing with it, the home support as well. It's a feature of all the grounds we've been at throughout Japan and the Rugby World Cup this year. Huge good cheer around the ground. It's the start of the serious rituals. Today's referee is Nick Berry of Australia. Jefferson Poirot on the left. Siali Piutau of Tonga. Tonga are coming in us losing eight of the last nine, but they have, as you say, they had success in this fixture in Rugby World Cup history in 2011, overcoming France and New Zealand. And they look to get a good start, play on that ill discipline at time from the French, bring the power game that they always serve up in attack and defence. But a good start will be really important for the men in red. Inside the French dressing room. Number one from the front row, Jefferson Poirot is the captain today. Now they've got the third different combination at half back as well with Saran and Intermark with the three games so far. So they'll be looking to find the best combination in there. Two wonderful players. The second highest offloaders in the tournament as well, average over 13 offloads a game. So they want to play a fast game. If they can do it accurately, they can be a threat. The Tonga dressing room. All seems quiet and calm for the moment, but they have this switch. They don't go through any chest-beating rituals, really, but they have the switch, which says game mode. Yeah, the fierce on the field. Six of the 23 selected today do play their club rugby in France, so they'll be have an insight into the French mindset as well as their own mindset, as you say, their aggression, their power, and the, the freedom they like to play with. The French guys will seem to be happy, whatever. Jefferson Poirot leads the way out. Baptiste Serrain right behind him. The clickety-clack of aluminium studs on the hard floor of the corridor all part of the sounds of the interior a few last words clickety clack here come Tonga Siari Piotau very forceful very powerful in the center Teams will meet in the tunnel, stand side by side. They'll know each other. Quite a few of these Tongan players earn their corn in French rugby. Professionals out there. The Japanese welcome. The beat begins at the taiko drums.
drums fall silent. Ladies and gentlemen, Next, the national anthems, the national of, anthems. of Tonga and France. Tonga Kokka, France Kokka, no, and so this. French with the Marseillaise will not have the last word before kickoff. The Ikali Tahi will have that. The Sea Eagles, the name of the Tongan rugby team. They call it a cultural challenge. It is the Sipi Tau. Sipitao. But it certainly lays down the challenge. Yeah, it does. It's Takalua who's leading it. Teammates behind. Takalua. And we have Hooker as well. I see Pieta in the background. We're really laying down the challenge. It'll be very interesting to see how Virini Vakatawa. In the centre will be used by France. Vincent Loré comes into the back row. Jacques Brunel, the coach, looks on expectantly. Tutai Kefu, World Cup winning player with Australia, now coach of Tonga. Maxime Medar, 15. Damien Penault, 14. 
Will the back three be given scope, opportunities to run for France? Two out of two in the pool so far. They could ease their way into the quarterfinals. Well, they could. They still have England to play in their last pool game. First, though, this challenge from Tonga, and it won't be easy, Chris. No, and Jefferson Poirot is using all his experience here after the sippy tau, just taking their time, getting the squad in together, the one or two warm-up practices at the side of the field. They've had a team huddle, getting their focus back on how they want to start this fixture. You know, Tonga will be fine. They'll bring the physical edge. What fans will we see? The last words. Mariato Hingano. Today's referee, Nick Berry of Australia. Here's to the referee having a quiet one today. We've had a, a couple of days, seen red cards. France against Tonga. Roma Untermatt gets us underway. Back on the French side, back up to the halfway line. Serain. Untermatt pushes oh, in. France into the 22. Well, it's a calm start from the young number 10, 20 year old number 10. The first thing he did was a beautiful high hanging kickoff. And it seemed to hang in the air forever. It was spilled forward from the Tongan pack. Back eventually to Intermac, we found a little bit of space in behind. Good control for the number 10. Paola Nuamo to throw. Well taken by Kalamafoni. Nuamo back in charge of the ball. Behind him, Sonatani Takolua. Interesting, Tonga just opting to kick that straight out, no thought of a contestable kick, get off the field, get the defence set from the first set piece. Camille Sharp for France, they go long over top, and the first sight there of Vakatawa. Poirot, the captain, leads the charge up towards the 22. Baptiste Serrain goes Digging out bodies, it's gone a little bit loose. Intermax says, let's go there by, by foot. Yeah, it's good play again from the young number 10. Just probing in behind, not allowing Tonga's physicality and the lane speed to disrupt France early on. Well, near perfect conditions here down pit side. Really is getting loud with French support, well and truly drowning out any Tongan support. Nuamu goes long. And it finds number eight, Mama Vaipulu. And Tonga come in from the side. Oh, interesting. Nah. Two line outs. Uh, we had you in the side, and we also had holding on here. Nick Berry just yeah. underlining that to uh, Pietau, the captain. But the problem was two line outs. Both lines have gone clear over the back, one from either side. And it's really good awareness yeah, from well, Laurie right. and Shah to right, stop man. the ball carrier and win the turnover in the shadow of the post. Good control start from the French. Okay, that's good. That's good info. Thanks, man. Young Roma and Tamak, just 20 years old. In his 11th international, his first kick of the day. Simply done, France take the lead in Kumamoto. It's almost the perfect start for the French side. Dominated territory, dominated possession. Applied pressure when they had to defend and then chipped away using the boot to get in behind the Tongans and then clipped over the first penalty of the day. James Fiver will restart. Tonga 
into the French half really for the for the first time. Serra just hold, just hold. from Aldrit. Long clearance. Yeah, good kick from the number nine, wasn't it? Blue on the line. He's a goal okay. kicking option as well to Roman Intermat. As Baptiste Serran, I like him as a player. He probes around the edges, but he's got a, a beautiful game sense and awareness about him. A real strength for the French squad as a number nine position. Nuamu again. Just about held by Leva Fifita. Calamafoni drives on. Takalua comes down the three quarter line. David Halai Fanua had Hold come in field. Back for France. Maxime Meda. Quite happy to get the ball off the park. Good defence from France as well. This is it in the line right at the top of the jump for Fafita. Disrupted in the air, but did win it back. All the talk is about pace in this game. Tonga hoping to hang on for 60 minutes. The French wanted to keep everything quick. Overthrow. Camisha. France release the three quarters. Raka. Support inside him. There it is. Fantastic try by France. Virini Vakatawa. One Fijian to another Fijian. Both proudly playing, playing for France. Well, it was classic France, wasn't it? Reacting to the turnover, the overthrow, the line out, and then it became simple rugby, done really, really effectively. There's the throw, just out of reach. O'Callum Afoni, Char reacts first, and then the ball moving. From here, it's fix the man, fix the defender, run straight, and then continue to support. Vakatawa had already taken and given. Raka attacks the space, beats nice one or game. two, and then gets the inside pass, working hard the inside channel after fixing the defender, moving the ball on. He scores underneath the post. Great start for the French. Stolen ball, how quickly they changed their defensive pattern into full-on French attack. Romain Untermach adds the two points. Well, this is Raka deciding to check in field and then straighten up the line. Gets in behind two defenders and then gets the ball flowed away to his support player. I can't think of two more dangerous players in combination looking at this World Cup, Vakatawa and Raka, both of them looking to help each other out. Normally, Vakatawa, the provider, with his wing outside him, but there, he's out in the wave. Well, because the, the Tongan defence are narrow, they were on the slide, and that makes them really susceptible to that straight and run from Raka. Good play. Gregory Aldrit again. Always inside. Hold there, White. So, right, no, takes his time. Use nine. And again, France happy to clear the ball. Thanks, Mike. Blue on the line. Straight into touch. That's a good kick again from Saran and Mimashino and the impressive Dupont. They've got some real depth at number nine and all kick very well. That goal out of hand, and that's a good way of clearing your pressure. Tonga go long again, well caught by Sam Lucy. Playing advantage. Knock on advantage, I think. France, though, in possession. Switch of play by Sura to Untamak. Medar. And Telusa Feino can only watch the ball as it puts Tonga very much on the back foot. Yeah, it's a very accurate kick from Maxi Medal off his left foot, but again, it comes from Tonga's possession being turned over numbers, at the breakdown. Eh? Didn't work hard enough to retain possession. And a switch yeah, of play from right to left, finding the left foot of Medar and an excellent kick back in behind the Tonga defence and putting them back under pressure. This looks... Uh, more coordinated line out from Tonga. Noamu in possession at the back. Stop one, Snine. Takalua Stay waits. Seven. Halai Fanua chases the kick, but Medar has 
room and space to size up what he can do. Tackled by Vaipulu. Poirot, tackled by his opposite number, Siegfried Fissihoi. Lovely pass between Vamahaina and Aldrit. Now you're off at 12. Yeah, he's Aldrit, back in possession. Watches Poirot take it on. Use it. That's fine. Slightly Fritz. scrappy now. Lore sorts out, resets. France pause. Fine, counter up's good. Ball's Poirot lifted, play on. To Sharp. No momentum for France yet. So, Untamak goes high towards Halai Fanua. Forward off France. Veino has a chance to counter attack. Very exciting run up. The Leicester player in England. And, uh, no advantage coming from a boys play the original blue knock on here. Leva Fifita. Couldn't take it, but there was an, the original knock-on by France. Yeah, it was Damien Pinot who did wonderful well to get up. He landed pretty awkwardly here. He gets up ahead of Faiva, but then can't hold the ball. He's such a brilliant kick chaser, Damien Pinot. He certainly throws his body chance. into it. Just remember Lands we awkwardly as well, again. but it's a good tactical decision by Inter, Matt. Once the, the, mark, the French momentum the slowed, it, an accurate kick up. Lovely angle from the camera there to show just how high the players get off the ground chasing these kicks. It's so difficult for the defending player to get up to be contestable because you're almost trying to jump from a static position. Damien Pinot, the player chasing the kick, can come in almost like a high jumper, coming in on the arc to get up in the air. And, and you can see the weight of the pack there for, for Tsonga. Let's see if they can make it count the set piece. Tonga heavier and when they're on the front foot it can tell but uh, if they have to run backwards all afternoon and evening their strength will be sapped it just happens well, you're sapped. your energy is sapped when you're defending as well and Tonga haven't been able to retain possession long enough to make France defend so by definition the Tongans are having to do most of defending let's see if they can get a set piece scrum we control possession here. Mine. Set. Um. Takalua feeds the scrum. Referee happy enough to let it go. Vaipulu comes away with it. Passed in. Fiver. It's gone very, very high. Safely taken. Mida. Sofian Gitu to Araka. Outside him now on the left wing. Vakatawa. Meda finds him. Strength of Vake. Spilt it though. Chance for Tonga to launch a counter attack. David Halaifanua set it up. Here goes Sione Kalamafoni. Driven on by Maafu Fia. Fiver with Untermatt deep inside his 22. Well, it'll keep Tonga down in the French half. Yeah, he's got a big boot, James Faiva. We saw that with the first clearance kick. Who, he did well to get away under a lot of pressure from Gregory Aldrit. And then there, from just outside his own 22, he kicks the ball over the, the opposition try line. And it's a chance for everybody to get their breath back. Keep it up, you go longer. Chance for Nick Berry to underline one or two scrum technicalities to the front row as well. Not a longer bind from the Tongans. And then Jefferson Poirot to keep his bind up. Change of direction. That's well That's gathered by... Not Take gathered, but... Slapped back France's way by Laure. Surin, France quite happy... Back. ...to drill Tonga backwards. Well taken, Halai Fanua. Untamak comes forward and takes Talusa Veaino as he comes down. That's excellent play. Tonga has stolen possession from France. 
through the hands of the second rows. Out it comes. Big prop Siegfried for Issy Hoy. And it's gone loose again. Meda, Lohe, a chance here for Damien Penault. Shah in support. Good angle. Run by oh. Gitoun, spins out of one challenge. Sofiane Gitoun in full flow. And here's another player, Charles Olivon. It bounces to Vakatawa. Raka outside him. Vakatawa can't quite free the hand for the pass. Here's Raka. Held off the ground. Rabba Slimani goes in to lend his support. Penalty against Tonga. With driving in without using the arms. That's the Nick Berry, is he going to follow up on that at all? What wasn't that? No Sam Lucy. Sam Lucy, yeah, it wasn't a. It wasn't needed that. It wasn't a clear out. It was a charge, shoulder charge, and a player already on the ground. Just let me know if I need to have a look at that. Frustrating, obviously. As he comes, Camille Shat, who's over the ball. Oh, it's a shoulder charge direct to your ribs. Yeah, okay, thank you. That doesn't look good. No, he's just said, for Sam Lucy. Okay. What do you want to do, guys? Jefferson. Close, all right. They're going to have a shot. Well, not close. great, but it was on the back of this shift change you can see from the French when they started in these short lines on the offload stick. They look like a completely different team. They're balanced, they're poised, and their exploration of space really is a strength of theirs. free flow rugby at its best from the French. It's a while since I've seen the open turn. That's what we used to call an open turn. It's not a sidestep, I swear. It's just a spin, but... Oh, G -tune. Back the spin. <laughs> G Tune was effective against the USA, and his line breaks really effective through the week. France, yeah, in fact, had 14 line, break, side line side breaks side on side average. Okay, so I need you to keep that elbow up. I'll talk to him about going along with the bond, OK? okay. I reckon we're going to get both of you guys bringing your height up a bit. We'll get, we'll get okay. Tidying up again, Jefferson Paro and Nick Berry about the binding at the scrum, but... Excuse me, mate. Certainly. A few line breaks from France already. Okay, time's on. This afternoon, and they do look effective. They do have the bit between their teeth to support them well. Tonga managing to get back and drag them down just. Kahoma Untamak. This will be his third kick of the day. Only 15 minutes played. Two out of three for Romain Untamak. France's lead stays at ten points to nil. That's a warning there to David Lucy. I saw Lucy, sorry, from Nick Berry, saying the team always had a look at that, making sure you lead with arms, not with your shoulder. James Fiver, make sure his forwards are behind him. He goes as far downfield as he can. Untamak, Aldrit. Oh, I can hear the crunch of the contact. Aldrit survives it, delivers. Oh, Lohe feels it, the challenge of Vaipulu. Poirot against Fia. Untamak, Vakatawa on the loop, long to Puno, who just leaves the ball. That's there the on the touchline. Yeah, frustrating attack there from France. Well matched defensively by Tonga. Two big collisions in the midfield led by Vaipulu. The number eight there and Laurie. Laurie does well to retain possession and actually make one or two yards. But then as we come back game, down the short side, the pass for Damien Pinot didn't go to hand. And you see France dominating possession as well. Very blue at the moment, but here come the white shirts of Tonga. And again, it's Mahama Vaipulu who leads the charge. Lying deep. Fiver going high. Halei Fanua in pursuit. Untamak. Tonga have to move away. Serain to Aldrit. Driving power of France's number eight. And if Bit Berry had turned around, he might, <laughs> might have seen a few Tongans offside, but instead he's given the scrum 
to Tonga. Knock on. Well, if anyone were to make that call, Nick Berry, an ex-scrum half, knows all too well how difficult it can be when feet are all over the ball. In theory, the Tongans don't have to move, but that's a pretty awkward place to put your foot. How good is Gregory Aldrich at ball cutting? Yeah. He's getting hit really hard there by two defenders, and he still makes place. yards. He even the looks to get his hands here. It's the second or third occasion he's done that already. To the left. Setting the platform for France to attack from. Gregory Aldrich, his, uh, his dad, Terence, proud Scot. Good on him. Gregory said, <laughs> I am French. <laughs> I wish he maybe said he was Scottish. He's a terrific player, Gregory Aldrich. Keep it up. France just trying to get a little bit too much. Smoke about it, keep your elbow up. Your elbows cause that collapse. Keep your elbow up, one. On the Tongan side, Poirot penalised. Well, that's good from Nick Berry. He's mentioned that on two occasions already outside the scrums um, to Jefferson Poirot. So he obviously noticed the same, um, the same offence there. His bind coming down, that's a left elbow of Jefferson Parra, we're having a look at there. Oh, it's not much, is it? Mm. He did say about keeping that arm up, the difficulty is you're against a pack that's 80 kilograms heavier than you, that's almost a scrum half included in those numbers as well. Paula Nuamu throws long. Maul! Tongan, Maul comes on. Stop one, Takanua heads off across the field. Alai Fanua comes off the wing. No, stay blue! Back blue! On it comes. Vaipulu drives on. Oh, trying to release Marfu Fia, the pass from Nuamu. working pretty well for Tonga. They march themselves into the 22. Sebastian Varmina has to let go. Here comes Fia again. He doesn't get very far. Kalamafoni has a go. He doesn't get very far. Nobody's getting very far for the moment, but Tonga retaining possession they have to throw a lot of bodies in to these breakdowns Takalua now Putao a first chance for the captain to stretch his legs Takalua has lost possession France break Vakatawa Raka outside him good tackle by David Halaifanua sorry Cooper Vuna across with the tackle. Yeah, better in some ways from Tonga, really, because they retained possession, but they run out of numbers. They had to work so hard to retain possession. Oh, and when it did on. come quickly, Takalua had to take it on himself. Thanks, mate. And then we see France. This is Takalua take it on himself. <laughs> the ball knocked from his grasp, yeah, and then the line, right, France are just there. so quick in this counter-attack. Vakatawa straightens. Raka is hit hard by Vuna. And put in a touch. Noamu throws. Move. Taken by Leva Fifita. Prop Fia. Holds it out. It's a little bit of a grapple Stop going on. Vami Maina. Tonga have to be careful not to put a chokehold on anybody. Oh, blue. Tackle over weights. France Fine. disrupts. Fine, counter up is good. Fissi Hoy comes away with it. Back. Takalua. One for Cooper. Ooh. Vuna. To chase. Turnover is good. A real chance. Pio for Tonga. Goes long. Excellent work. David Halai Fanua gets back to Ve Veainu. Oh. Tukalua did well to keep his feet there. They regroup. 
to Sonnet through Mama Vaipulu. Vainu again, tackled by Sofian Gitun. Still in field. Vaipulu. No, now, Blue, you're off your feet. Kanamafoni had to do a bit of clearing work. Piotau. Chance here. Was that a deliberate knock on or was it a chance? Loud whistle. Ten. Oh, Roma Untama. Right. No, they had enough What's defense on the outside. Yeah, no. I'm happy with the penalty only. <laughs> penalty only. Yeah, both boys. <laughs> well, they had defense Ziala. there. Ziala Pieter <laughs> saying we're going to score Ziali. the try. And Nick Berry's going to have a... Okay. He's going to have a what noise, just yeah. underlining yeah. his point. <laughs> no, here's a winger, let's go. Yeah, there was... Raka was outside him. It is hit up in the air, which I have some form of sympathy for the player, because... You're trying to, you know, almost coach to bat the ball up in the air so you can then regather it. If your hand's thumping the ball down towards the ground, then, you know, fair, fair penalty and indeed more, perhaps. So it's probably right that it's a penalty if you go with one hand. But Intermax not too far away from, from scoring himself there. You can see the question, yeah. people asking if it's a genuine chance. I'm sure Kefu would be saying the same thing. If they're just going to catch it with the one hand, is a magician. But there we go, stopping the momentum. Worth yeah. thinking about how much yeah. meters have been made. Phenomenal amount of running on broken field play. These turnovers are making no. this a very oh, yeah, exciting off, yeah. game, showing just how attacking both teams want to be. Tonga given a little hurry up by Nick Berry. They'll want to take care All of this line out. Second row, oh. Leva Fifita. And Paula so Nuamu. Okay. France have certainly <laughs> made, up. well, it's nearly five times as many metres yeah. as, as Tonga. But Tonga with a chance now to build. Straight off the top this time. Oh, and Kupa Vuna has dropped the ball. Let it go, White! Let it come. France with side. the advantage. Stay White. No, the ball's about it, nine. Shot to Untermach. Vakatawa restored after a little bit of injury. Good offload again, Lore. It's gone forward. The players stopped before the whistle went, really. <laughs> yeah, see how, how close France are to getting away. They've got a few handling errors. This is Vakatawa again, straightening against a sliding defence and then just instinctively popping the ball up, knowing there's a support player there. It's Lore who's been outstanding early on in the first half. Halu Afuna with a tackle. And then as Intermac tries to pop it back outside to Gitoun, it comes back off Laurie and it's knocked forward. It wasn't Gitoun that knocked it on, it was Laurie, but you can see how close France are to almost getting away and how, how often they like to offload. Let's go. Came from a turnover again, though, didn't it? It was Tonga's throwing at the line out. Too many turnovers from Tonga. Zane Capelli with the black scrum cap. Wenceslas Loy with the blue scrum cap. The sevens face each other on the side of the scrum. Tukalua, Takalua. It's not bad. It's all right for Piotau. It's good defence on Halai Fanua. France bundling back into his own half. Takalua, there's room behind Medar. Damien Penou helped him cover and Puno will chase does he have to no straight out Tonga can have another attacking line out it was the right idea from Medar there was no one in the backfield but he just cut it too close to touch it this is brilliant defense from Gitoun you didn't see what he did before that he's double defended so he's marked the short runner realized that he was then not going to get the pass and then slid out one more and makes a tackle on Higano in the midfield Blue, seeing yet another short line out from Tonga. They're trying to get their big men in midfield, making the meters for them. Another one goes loose though. Kami Sha, who's picked off a couple of line outs and good power from the hooker. Serrano. Oh, Gregoria Aldrit drops the ball. Oh, I don't think he's down because he's physically hurt, just yeah. upset at himself. I think he got a, a dunk from. Lucy as well, just as they couldn't quite handle the ball. Camille Shatt, that's the second line out that Tonga have lost, and it just immediately allows France on the counter attack again. 
Shah is so strong, isn't he? He spins, he's so dynamic, yeah. he spins out a couple of tackles, gets goal forward ball. Sorry, and then as the ball again. comes to Aldrich, he was hit pretty hard. It was Luisi with his um, with a big hit into Aldrich's back. Listen to Nick Bittery. So, Nick, I just want to show you late contact. And that's what's caused the injury to Blue 8. I'll show you it from a wide angle now. Scanny, can I see that in real time, mate? Yeah, no trouble. We'll show you it now in real time. It's Sam Lucy who comes in. You got another angle in real time, mate? A little bit closer, please. Nick, the, the timing is not the big focus. It's just the player's right arm. There. Yeah, I see. Yeah, right, I scan So four. It's the actions of four that, uh, that we're bringing attention to here with, with no wrap there. So he's led with the shoulder. That's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, no, Siali. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Kenny. So, see, Ali, it's, it's, it's not a question about it being late. It was just the action of the tackle itself. He's still okay. using his arm? No, he's there with the shoulder. He's hit with the shoulder first, and the arm's come late. So, it's just a penalty, okay? It's, it's got nothing to do with timing. Are going to? No, not it's at all. His arm's coming. No, he's there with the shoulder, in my opinion, okay, mate? So, it's going to be a penalty here. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Leading with yeah. the shoulder. Yeah. Arm swinging behind it. It's the, uh, it's the key Quite point of this World Cup, shoulder. isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, sure. Sam Lewis's defence, his arm wasn't tucked behind his his body, and it was trying it's to get out, ball. but the collision was so good, probably because Gregory Aldrich had relaxed at that moment where he realised he wasn't going to get the ball. I don't think Lucy realised that Aldrich wasn't going to get the ball. That's why it was really good refereeing from Nick Berry to say, can I see it in full speed? But there was a shoulder collision, it was a big hit. I do think he was trying to get his arm round there, the big second row, but I think just about got it right with a penalty. Oh. A very good kick by Untamak. Four, four. That's your second one now. Okay. Into the yeah, 22. Yeah, I want to see you lead, leading more. Make more of an effort with your arm. Yeah, that's a good warning uh, as well because back, it was the the same player who led with the shoulder, which I thought was a, there, a, a worse offence against Camille Shah, the man with the ball just now. Good warning for the referee. Charles Olivon is the winner of the lineout for France. Sebastian Varmina joins them all late. Adds his considerable bulk to the forward motion. Tonga have done pretty well to defend this and taken it tight to the touchline. Away comes Poirot. Out wide. Raka goes in to scrum half position. Rava Slimani. Aldrit again. Did he lose control? It's gone backwards. That's gone backwards. And Tamak. Tackle now, roll wide. Tonga defending stoutly for the moment. It's your man holding that in. Kami Shah. And again, the hooker makes good ground. And Vakatawa drops it. Chance for Tonga to break out. It's <laughs> the front row forward, then a back row forward. But that's a good kick by Vaipulu. Meda. Raka. Oh, oh, good strength by Raka. And the surge of acceleration. He couldn't quite get the pass. Aldrit is there. Raka, Separate them, says the referee. <laughs> please, I'm not going in there. Right, step back, please. Blue, go back, guys. You see anything in that? Okay, 14. 14. It was Baptiste Saran who took exception to something in there. 14. Let's see what Nick Berry has to say. Nah, guys. Damien Penault. What a break this is from Al 
Veti Araka. He yeah. breaks the first tackle yeah. and then he just accelerates up the field. Yeah, yeah, sure. He got through Capelli's Tom's off, guys. He's getting tackle. Jefferson. And then this is an excellent Sorry. piece of defence. Grab for a sec. From Tonga. Raka had support to his left hand side, he chose not to go and what a tackle Listen, that boys, is in full force. We had a knock on on the ground, okay. Viani. The only players running in after a knock on. You didn't get a chance to talk to your four on the run, but that's your second one, okay, for, for leading with the shoulder. So just talk to all your boys, okay, about making sure they come so around what, with are you. You meant to lead with the arm? No, I want you to tackle. I'm making more of an effort to see that wrap, okay? That wrap can't come oh, yeah. too late. But I, what I don't want, guys, is that I don't want all the push and shove after oh, yeah. I've made a decision, okay? We're going to restart with the scrum to white, oh, yeah. just here. Okay, uh, to Absolutely, have a talk to them, thank you. Yeah, yeah, Nick Berry just has got a sense that it's bubbling over a little bit. And there was something, certainly something that irked um, Baptiste Serrano. Yeah, that last run was good. So Some excellent last-ditch defence from, from Tony to say, with Vianu in that tackle and Raka. But if Raka did look to his left hand side, this is him breaking the initial tackle of Capelli. So powerful, so strong, then the pace comes on. Zing Capelli not able to bring down Raka, but this tackle by Tselusa. Veainu is very good. And there's the little knock-on. I'm not sure why the after started. Really difficult now, okay? tackle that for Vianu because Raka could have gone either way. It's not as if the 15 Vianu had an angle that he could manipulate the, the movements of the attacker. Really good defence. Free kick, France just pushing a little too early. Free kick. Scrum. Scrum well, one again. of the few pieces of indiscipline from the French there. Only two penalties they've given away so far. Well, His last few games, they're looking at double hit digits hold, before please. the end of the first half, so very no, much a marked hold, improvement. Jefferson, hit and hold, no movement after the set. There's Mark, to the left. Interesting to see Tom open for the scrum there. I know it's a free kick, so... You know, they couldn't kick the ball straight out, and certainly if they, they kicked it, they'd have to maybe go high and contest it or take a quick tap. But Crunch! it'll be interesting to see how they attack. They've got three, four Fine! players stacked to the left hand side of Set! the scrum, and there's only two defenders plus the nine there, so they may go on the far side here to it, if they can get a stable base. Oh, the scrum splits, but Vaipulu comes away with it. Vaino back to the number eight, but it's gone loose, so again it. It broke down all too quickly for Tonga. That scrum steady, I need you to put the ball in, okay? Yeah, you can't it's just a good long. scum. It's it's really a good scum, scum by France because they forced Tonga to the right hand side where they were actually outnumbered. Yeah. There was more yeah. defenders yeah. down this side than attackers. Yeah. And it's a good tackle from Intimat. Forces a knock on. Yeah, okay. Yeah. To the left, there's your mark, guys. Paula Nuamu wanted a word with Nick Berry. But I think that was just pure power from the French pack, the lighter French pack. Now then, France, with plenty of room on both sides of this scrummage. More stacked towards the right-hand side. The bottom of the picture, Maxi Medaz floating in and around. Too much movement, same thing. Almost looks as if there's going to be a, a two-phase play here. The France will go for the scrum. Suran takes it quickly. Raka for himself to chase. It's a try for Alivereti Raka. Brilliant, brilliant from Baptiste Suran. Quick thinking, bringing tempo and energy to the game. Outstanding piece of thinking from the young scrum half. As soon as uh, Nick Berry's having a word with one of the front rowers from Tonga to try and clear what clear up the issue, but there's no issue for me. It's just brilliant, quick thinking from Saran. Just when everybody else is getting ready to reset the scrum, he sees the opportunity at the left-hand side with Raka, and then Raka drops the ball on the toe, gets round Vuna, picks up a bobbling ball really well and dots down for French second try. Alivereti Raka. It was a good pickup as well. That's, that's in slow motion. He was at full tilt when he did it. Well, Raka again showing just how excited of a practice he is. People talking all around the world about wanting to see this guy fly at the World Cup. Wonderful finish to put it on the left foot. The kicking masterclass. It's just great to see 
like such awareness from an attacking player and attacking mindset. I said early on that Saran's got this awareness and ability to kind of feel where the space is, and that's quick thinking and really good execution from, from Raka to tip go down the line, chip chase, and get the ball down under pressure. Roma and Tamak, it's a little curl on the ball which takes it straight through the middle, three out of four for Roma and Tamak. France's lead grows to 17 points to nil. This is a pickup again, we'll see. Bubbling ball, almost runs past the ball, has to stretch back towards it, pick it up, keep his composure and duck down for France's second try. James Fiver. Back on the halfway line, the restart. Aldrich underneath it. Keep going, boy. Serrain to Varmaina. Tackle release! Serrain waits. Yes! Quite a delicate little kick by the scrum half. Very well taken. Sione Calamafoni. France have to let him get the ball away. Kami Shap surely can't play that. <laughs> Everybody having a look at the referee. Takalua. Cuts back. Siali Piutau. Hold on. Nuamu Tackles to Fiverr. Away comes Sam Nosi. But France have combat. turned it over. Varmaina. Oh, we've got a little double infringement. First one yeah. by Tonga. Uh, first one by France, sorry. Yeah, he was good initially. Uh, he was good initially. He's been knocked off it. Paula Nuamu telling the backs what he thinks. <laughs> well, France are working so hard at the contest, at the tackle contest, and it's usually just one man. Camille Chat has been dangerous in here. It was Pinot Guys, in the screen who knocked on just as for instability after the, set. the ball Next came from another turnover. Okay, so make sure we hit and hold. There's the mark. There's more instructions from Nick Berry at the scrum. But yeah, Tonga are. Uh, most of the possession is quite slow because France are putting one or two players in and really causing difficulty at the breakdown. And because of that, Tongans don't get the momentum. It's harder for them to break the line. And France are just Crouch! almost showing their mouse a bit better than Tonga in this first half. Concerns for Tonga at the scrimmage. Set! And again, it's untidy. Let's do it again. The hookup. Same mark. Paula Nuamu, number two for Tonga. He's not happy, Chris. He's not. He's had two or three discussions with, with Nick Berry. And it seems that it's a timing issue, I think, that he's, he's claiming. You know, the binding issue seems to have improved on this near side between Poirot and Fia. So Natani Takalua will want decent possession. Tonga want to score before half-time, it's gone spinning round. <laughs> Referees don't like that, there's always a suspicion that somebody's pulling, you can only push. He'll be happier now. All the front row Get a in the head. will be happier. Yeah, I think the telltale sign is how quickly that spins round the corner. But... Let's see. See, it's so difficult, isn't it? It's so difficult to judge because that could either yeah. be a really, really powerful scrum from France or it could be stepping around and driving on the angle. That was the, the decision from Mick Berry. It's almost like a Ouija board, oh, yeah, isn't it? You don't know who's pushing and pulling, but ultimately the conversation for the referee is all about staying on, square and set and not having that movement. It looks complicated, which it very much is, but I think the decision's been right there by Berry. Let's go, nine! Let's go, Nine, come on. Number 14 for Tonga, Kupavuna waits Thanks, beyond the touchline. Here he is, right, right at the bottom right. of the picture. Kupavuna. 
Oh, Very strange position for him to top, but it, no doubt he'll come back on the field to play now. Oh. What will be coming his way? Nothing for the moment because the forwards have taken over. Nuamu in control. Stop once, nine. Right, I'll use it now. Forwards have another go. That's fine, take it down. Nuamu sets it up. This is Leva Fifita. Tukurua to Kalamafoni. Off, Lou, off! Let it come. Pio the captain, has gone burying himself. There aren't many backs out here, so the forwards hang on to it. Calamafoni hurls himself in, number six. They come through. Second row, Fifita. Better by Tonga. They sense the goal line is only two metres away. That's a tight little bunch of Tongan attackers. The forwards will probably yes. keep it amongst themselves. They do. It's Fifita again. Piotau, wearing 12, calls for it. Changes his position, looking for space in a wider position. They don't look beyond Vaipulu. And the front rows. Capelli flies in. Tukulua. Checks where they are. Easy, let it come. Ball's available. It is Stay available, there, just. Prop. Fia has a go. Tukulua to Nuamu, but Tukulua on his own. I think he scored and got bounced back. This will go to television match official Ben Skeen. Do you reckon he's touched his grace the line there? So I feel decision's going to be a try. But we'll check it. I, don't know. I, well, I think he may have got there. Yeah. Absolutely confused. So we can't go for the decision try. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure. Righto. Skinny, coming to you, mate. Mate, on field decision is no try. We think it's short. Can you just uh, check that for me, mate? Yeah, checking footage on field decision, no try. Thanks, mate. Was he short? Well, my, oh. my assumption my initially was that he'd made it. We need to see from another angle. It only has to touch the line for the try to be awarded. This, this might be clearer. This will be the angle. Tackle who dummies and goes and touches the line there just, doesn't it? There. That's on the line. Uh, Sonatoni Takalua yeah, should be awarded the try, try, we think. It is a try. The ball has been dislodged, but that is secondary. The ball is grounded first by nine. Okay, so on field decisions, try. That is correct. Yeah, good try. Yeah, thanks, mate. Time on. Try awarded. And what a reception from the fans here in Kumamoto. Really good reward for the Tongan number nine that came from hard work from his pack. Must have been up over nine, ten phases. And they weren't going to go wide. You said it, Eddie. Game. It was tight, it was close, it was hard work. Laurie tried hard to turn nice the ball time. over, as did Olive Warren and Sharp, but the power came from Tonga. And that man was going to attempt to knock over the two extra points. It was a try scorer. Good power, good finish from Takalua. Sonatani Takalua, third in the all time Tongan point scoring list. 200 to his name. 205 with the try. This should be 207. No problem for the scrum half. Half time whistle goes. A nice little finish to the first half for Tonga. They were under the cost for much of the opening period, but they have responded. And France's lead has been cut at half time here in Kwamamoto. France lead by 17 points to seven. Well, Tonga will go in much happier now, Chris. It was a difficult half for them, but they 
came back at the end. Yeah, they did. They got more possession. That was a key. Looked after possession, got the ball, fixed their set piece, won one or two penalties to give them pitch um, position, and then just retaining possession towards the end was much better from Tonga. France started so, so well. Tonga came back into it. France coming back onto the field. Tonga already out. Just looking at the numbers. No changes in the French team at half time. One of the try scorers, Virini Vakatawa. France, two tries to the good, but Tonga responding right on half time. There's the captain, Siali Piutau. Jefferson Poirot for France, the captain. Ten points the difference between the two sides. James Fiver, number ten for Tonga, to restart this game. In Pool C, France win, they go through to the last eight. They still have England to play in the pool. Tonga must win. This would be their first win, and they would have to win their remaining two to have any chance of qualifying. Vamaina with the catch from Fiver. Again, the players have to be careful not to grab anybody around the throat and neck. Sebastian Vamaina gets low and gets back into the action. He's not quite in this peloton at the front. Taken down by Blue. France have taken a maul down, which means they lose the put in at the scrummage. So Tonga in retreat, but. Well, they've earned themselves the put-in. Yeah, it was a poor kick-off from Taiva. It was well taken by France, but under no pressure. And they were able to set up the mall that took them almost 30 minutes up, uh, 30 metres up field, sorry. And when it was failed, they couldn't quite get the ball back. Absolute exhausting way of start the second half. The amount of energy it takes out in these malls is phenomenal. Keep an eye on that clock, all important. The Tongan coach is talking about the 60-minute marker. They're with a chance. They need to be within a score at 60 minutes. A change for Tonga in the front row. Siosua Halanu Kanuka comes on on the tight head side of the scrum. Tonga were struggling a bit at the scrum. Perhaps Haluka, Halanuka Nuka can shore it up. Oh, that's good by Tonga. Well, that's a very different scrum. Well, there's a statement. There's a change. <laughs> that's Nuamo. Paola Nuamo. There's the new man. Well, that's a big start, it's a big statement, isn't it? For the start of the second half, it's rocked the crowd somewhat as well, it's rocked the French. Massive power coming through from Halanuka Nuka on the tight head side, winning the penalty. And if this kick can go deep in the French 22, he can really apply some pressure. It's not bad, it's in the 22. You're looking for the, the packs to drive straight. And you can see there, it's straight, and then through the power, Slamam, Slamani, and this side pops up first. And Halanuka Nuka, well, that must be how you celebrate in the front row. Tonga, well, they suddenly got a taste for the power game. Nuamu at the tail. They have to be careful not to twist too close to the touchline. They're still in control. France have taken it to ground. A chance now for the backs. Fiver. Tonga very much on the front foot in this second half. Inside ball. Tamama Vaipulu. 
Takalua drives on. The new man, Halanuka Nuka. The two second rows involved. Loisi, the last one, wearing four, gets to ground. Pops it onto the floor. Noamu picks up. Capelli from the back row. Vaipulu. Halanuka Nuka. Why not? What an impact he's made. Noamu again. Fifita. Good pick up. Veainu. They're very close now, Tonga. They like what they are doing, and then they don't. Uh, penalty for hanging on. Vaha Mahina just hanging on, and that was very similar to the end of the first half. Tonga, you can see the clear game plans to be direct. It's to stay close to the rucking mall. It's not to go wide. It's to use their power. Even the number 10, Faiva, was just straight up running. But then just when they're a metre short of the line, a big second row comes up with a turnover win for France. And there's two places where significant weight advantage will help. Tug of war and five metres away from your own line. Really impressive. Yeah. Carrying from the big tongue and forwards, but that is a remarkable turnover for someone who's about six foot nine. Yeah, he was close to one or two in the build-up to that. First try for Tung at the end of the first half. Close to getting the turnover. He certainly got that one there. Good body position. Very little wind here inside the Kumamoto Stadium. Quickly taken. Shah and Sun on the scrum half. And the charge away comes Shah Olivon. Stays in field, thumping tackle on him, taken on by Paul Gabriag. And then Sebastian Varmina. Olivon is going to turn the tide in France's favour. Or is he? Yeah. Check for the forward pass, I think. Can you hear that? <laughs> Referee Nick Berry with a question. Can you TMO check? Yeah, TMO check, please. Okay. Here, yeah, mate, let's have a look. I think it might be for the last pass. What wonderful play by France. And was this pass back to Oliver on forward? Oh, forward. Same. Yeah, thanks, mate. Let's get that mark. Yeah, thanks, mate. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Homer and Tamak has taken the conversion. And Nick Berry. Well, they time off, and we're going to a TMO check. We've got a clear forward pass over here. Okay, the last pass. So we're going to restart here with the scrum to white. Yep. Okay. A little bit of melodrama from France <laughs> took the conversion and the referee said, well, the try for which you took the conversion is a no try. What well, a breakout by France, Manolivon, so dangerous from the initial breakout from the clever line out of front. It was Saran back to Shah and this is the ball back inside to Oliver. This is a great tackle coming up there. And then, as the ball gets recycled, Gabriel Ag hits it, Vahamina gets it, sneaks away from one, and then just ships the ball forward to Olivon. It's a sign of what France can do if they get it right. Or almost do. Crouch! Fine! Great Set. athleticism, though, from the French second rows. Sebastian Vahamina from a Pacific Island in his own right. New Caledonia, Numea. La Nouvelle Caledonie. Oh, out. It's Taking squirted back. out for Takalua. David Alai Fanua has a charge. Inside. Takalua back to Fiverr. Well, you can see just a little bit of pressure, and that's come again. The ball squirted out for Takalua. But in that piece of play there, you can see why France loved to play that offloading game. They were so effective by the try. Almost more than any. The All Blacks, I think, are the highest offloaders statistically in the World Cup. But France, no, they're not far behind. And you can see when they get that part of their game right, they can be really effective. Well done to Tonga 
Carlin and Fiona with a, the big tackle and only one that stopped the momentum. Loret at the backwards. tail, it's gone loose, That's picked up two. by Aldrich, gone loose again, this time Tonga pick it up. Oh, very deft by Fiverr. That's not bad, it's a bobbling ball for the Ainu. Now a chance for Cooper Vuna to stretch his legs. Maxime Medal should have it covered, but no! Thunderous run, it's going to be the try! And it's Maliatoa Hingano who scores! Well, look at the celebrations from the Tongan players. What a try that is, from turnover play and then they just come alive. There's balls flicked over in the air, there's balls chipped in the air, there's work rate and chase, and Higano gets the reward for working really hard at the midfield channel. This is a turnover there, Aldrich can't quite pick it up. Shat knocks it forward, and then watch this for a piece of play by number 10, Faiva. They get it to the edge, Vuna hacks on, Medhar lets it bounce, and then look at the determination there from Higano. Not only does he get to the ball first, he breaks through the challenge, he fights through the tackle, and he gets his Tom in second try. It's a cruel bounce, but that's what the rugby ball does, and Maxi Meda was always in trouble. Once Hingano got his hands on it. Oh, we have a game on here, and Tonga know it. <laughs> Great score, wasn't it? Raka stepping in on the far side, gave Vuna the space to attack. And then hard-working midfield player Higano gets his reward up in the middle of the field. Sonatani Takalua with the conversion. Well, you have to go back to that significant decision for the forward pass, 14 points yeah. swinger potential. Takalua with the conversion, 17 points to 12, it's become 17 points to 14. Good score, wasn't it? My turn again from turnover, you see how dangerous all sides are, but it's a really good score from the centre. And how do France respond? Untermach, high into the sky, that's going down. The France have done well to regroup it. Slimani to Serrain. Slimani wearing three over the ball. Tongre turned it over yet again. Fiverr. Has it gone too far? Yes, it has. Just too far. Halai Fanua in pursuit. But James Fiverr slightly off the side of his boot. Yeah, still, still once again, I think it's a right decision. It's just poorly executed. And it goes over the touch, and there was space in behind, and there was no backfield cover if it had popped up or stayed in and popped up for Halai Fanua. Well, from when we started this first half, and Tonga keeping it tight. Two actions now showing they're really capitalising their possession. You can see in the bottom left with expansive play. They now just to get hold of the ball and keep it tight once more. Vahamai now wins the line out. Yeah, four's fine. He's coming through the middle. France. Taken down by Blue. A little bit rattled. Let's see it. There it is. Serrin orders the forwards into position. Use it. And then he uses them. Vahamai now. Gabriel okay, alongside, and again it's gone loose for France. Taken on by Poirot. Camille Sharp. <laughs> Untermach. Guitoun. France standing still a bit. Damien Penault goes a little bit backwards. He jumped into the tackle. Play on, says the referee. Meda. Surin. He's been light on his feet today, the big second row. Serrain, end over end, well read. By Telusa Veainu. Oh, just crossing in front of the fullback. Penalty to France. Yeah, well, they've done really well initially. Veainu to cover the kick, to read the kick from Serrain. He dropped back. And then he was searching, searching for a hole to run through. The French defence just stayed in the line, and you can see Aldrich is unable to make the tackle. This is a, this is a challenge where Nick Berry oh, said it's okay. 
because Damien Puno jumped into a tackle, but you're not actually allowed to jump into a tackle. Should be a penalty against the French winger. Easy, man. It's a dangerous thing to do as Laurie gets a little bit of treatment. It's just less Laurie. Oh, here we go. It's the old chopsticks up the nose. No. He's been effective guys, with the breakdown. Water off, please. Water off. Oops, no in attack off. and in defence. <laughs> Nick yeah. Berry is very stern. Water off. All those people in purple bibs, they are the water carriers. <laughs> And they've been sent on their way by the referee. One lingers in front of Roma Untamak, who takes no notice. France restore some order. No, that was an important three points. Penalty. 20 sorry. points to 14. Sorry, Eddie, sorry, but that was an important penalty. And an important time because the momentum had completely swung with Tonga. And it was well done for Roman Intermat to keep himself calm and chip the ball over. Change in the front row for France. Off come Jefferson Poirot and Rabat Slimani. Sébastien Van Mina is also off. On, wearing 19 for France. Bernard Leroux, he leaves it for Grégory Aldrit. OK, let it go, White, let it come. You're outside, Cyril no Bay. And Emerick Setiano right. nice, are nice. on for let France. Hey, stop it, let it go. So, <laughs> as Nick Berry scolds a couple of players having a little off the ball. Sioni Kalamafoni for Tonga. Missed it. Fiver. Pio Tau. <laughs> and Pio Tau is penalised France for once. <laughs> Sir, I'm tempted to go quickly again. And the forward say, oh, sure. Calm down, okay, everybody. Yeah, no one. Just well, this a breather. <laughs> well, you're looking for impact off the bench. This you got the captain yet, you Dupont will bring it. He's a fantastic uh, player as well. But Cyril Bay made a really important tackle there just on the field himself, and he tackled Pietro. Thank you. Okay. And helped force a turnover. Baptiste Serra's day is done. Antoine Dupont on at scrum half. Medal. Interesting now to see the reaction of Dupont into this game. Already said before the start of it, it's the 16th different 9 you, and 10 combinations in 2016. So here, up to these fly halves now, playmakers to try and grab hold of this game line, and make sure it goes the way of the French. At the moment, they're looking composed. France set up a driving mall. No, no, Shout no. Olivon. Upright in the middle, the catcher. Dupont has to go digging for it. Here it is. Virini Vakatawa hasn't seen much ball in the second half. Was he taken high by Leva Fifita? Doesn't matter for the moment. Did that go forward? No, went backwards, says Nick Berry. Sofian Gitoun <laughs> thrown around a bit, but he's he's all right. In fact, as Bernard Leroux drives on, there might be something on here for Gitoun and Go as France press for the line. Olivon drives in, Leroux, 19, waits. Tonga think they've turned it over, they have. There it is, for Sioni Kalamafoni. Play it, please. He might have to drive it on. They're lacking a kicker in a good position for the moment. Stay blue. Oh, no, stay, guys. Takalua is back in position. He wants a bit of protection. Here's it, nine. Back to Fiverr. <laughs> Under real pressure there. Bernard Leroux involved in the charge. Well, he did really well to get that away. He hasn't made a lot of ground. Fiverr, but he did really well under pressure to get it away. Jutun as well to hold on to that there. Look at the pressure from Higano on the ball, trying to strip it free in the tackle. And then the turnover eventually came when Dupont had half an eye in a gap, and then he tries to force an offload under the tackle of Capelli. And then Tonga get in in a vital turnover on their own line. Camille Sha finds Olivon. 
seen this before. The setup of the driving mall. He's fine, he's coming through the middle. And again, Tonga have defended it well. Mm -hmm. Capelli, good work. Tonga have the reward of the put-in. The starting captain looks on. Jefferson Powell. Taking him by Abbas Limani. Yeah, sure. Paula. Change Do there. Kami Shah just leaving picture now is going off. And the tour captain Guillaume Girado will be coming on. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Boys here, scrum here. Yeah, that mall defence is, is really impressive from Tonga, isn't it? And it's just they're, they're so it's big, they're so right? strong. But they're also technically very good. They get second rows swimming through the middle of the mall so they can actually get their hands on the ball and slow it down. Sure. And then Sorry, from Griffin. France's point of view, they just can't get enough momentum in the drive because the defence is so good. But Tonga in, instead have made a change at hooker. So Sefo Sakalia is on in their front row. Kami Shout is up against him. Well, Miyamo, the departing hooker, has been Set. pretty combative and one of the, the sort of mean men for Tonga at hooker. He deserves his break. Balls out. Balls, Balls out. out. Mama Vaipulu has to pick it up, he does. Takulua again back to Fiverr. And again, they haven't made that much ground, still around their 22. Well, it'll be interesting to see what France do here. Do they go off the top and change the picture a little bit? Or do they the maybe sneak here, around the front of the mall like they did earlier on in the half, in front of the line out? Or do the mall and try and get their systems a little bit better? and stop the, the talking defence getting through. It'll be interesting to see how they approach this. Tall man in the line-out, Bernard Leroux. Wenceslas Loy, Aldrit comes away with it. It was not quite what France had planned, but it's effective enough. Loy again, oh, huge tackle on him by Calamafoni. The change, long pass, Puno. Penalty advantage to France. Scrum hey, half. The ball might be out, but you still can't tackle this man. He doesn't have the ball. No. Given away a few penalties, and in particular, Sam Lossi has Have given a away a handful. Rising another shot. Well, it's the seventh penalty given away in Tonga. And whether the ball was out or not, it's funny because actually... Yeah, the ball's come out. The ball's, out. the ball's come out. But he's not picked up. Well, he can play nah, the ball, you can't play the man. And the penalty there is for playing this come half who hasn't yet picked the ball up. And that was a throw that was just too high yeah. for Laurie. Oh, he did enough just to touch it down to Aldrich who picked up the, the scraps. Hang on, mate. I'll get you in a sec. I'll get you, Sam. Lovely pictures. Ah, oh, the ball, the <laughs> rugby ball. What a treacherous little beast it is. <laughs> Tomac. Very well struck. 23 points to 14. And we're approaching that 60 minute mark that the coach Tatai Kefu was talking about before it needed to be within the score. They're not quite now. The French making sure their fitness is going to be a decisive factor in this game. The Tongans, a little bit of indiscipline coming from sheer tiredness at times. Camille Shah now makes his way off the field. Tonga have made another change too. Oh, Aldrich has to recoup. Ooh, he's very explosive and it took more than one Tongan to bring down the French number eight. Use your foot, please, 21. Stay white. Dupont, Clear, clearance charge down. It will be a French ball, a first job for Guillaume Girardot, wearing 16. Yeah, got a 21 off, for guys. Tonga, Leon Fukufuka. Well, it was a massive collision from the kickoff. It's a Zerfuku Sakalaya who's getting treatment. It came when Gregory Aldrich carried 
after initially knocking the ball back. And then we might have a couple of minutes break here. This was a big, big collision. I hope the hooker's OK. He's just on the field. Yeah, that's an hour. Yeah, a wee break there. It was, um, it was a long kick for Tonga. And Aldrich couldn't quite gather that first attempt. And then, as a result, he actually found himself a bit of space to run into. And after the collision, there's actually a twist and the clear out as well. Yeah, there's Paul Gabriel wearing four. Once you're on the ground, you can't do anything. You're, you, you can't grapple, play the ball, play anything. No. And again, <laughs> he, thought okay, no he thought he might be in for a rest, but Paula Nuamo has to keep himself warm, ready for more action. Actually, Sakalia is going to be all right. Rob. Well, just as well, Amo barely sat down before he had to bounce just back hurry. up and get himself yeah, ready to go back on, so got to be very careful of those yeah, twisting we'll collisions wait. in oh, the contact area, but luckily, yeah, yeah. he's hobbling on. Sorry? Just hold him, man. It's OK, it's OK. No, 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 hang on. As a match day doctor, ask him to go off. Well, then you don't have to go. If the match day doctor, independent doctor, ask him to go. There's a head injury assessment coming here. we got a sub for this man. Head injury assessment. Charles Olivon. What, He'll need some repairs again. later. On the line. Uh, so it's Paul Gavriak with the. Uh, just hold him, Matt. Hold him. Time's still off. Wait, oh. wait, 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 Matt. Hold. Time on. Oh, stolen ball, but this is Olivon coming away with it. Back feet, White. Come on, get help. Touched. Daniel Faliafa is on in the second row for Tonga. And Paul bouncing around. Tonga picking up a fair number of these scraps. Zane Capelli. No hands, Paul. Twisted and turned. Oh, that's your man. Toulouse Veainu towards Aliberetti Raka. Hold it. James Fiver, where's 10? Veina, Veinu takes charge gently, then looks for the quick one. <laughs> sure. And here's confirmation of the change at nine. Takalua, who's had a, a, a busy game. Right. Fuku Fuka in, and then as Kamara's coming on the yeah. back row for, hang on, hang on. for France as well. Uh, we got subs, guys. 16 wide. Yakuba, Kamara comes on. Eight, eight, sorry. Gregory Aldry, I think it is, who's, who's leaving the field, and Charles Olivon yeah, maybe moved to up, number eight. We've got a few subs. Any other subs, Gordon? Mama Vaipulu comes off the field, yeah, okay. replaced by Nasi yeah, Manu. Gregory Aldrich comes off the field as well. A couple of different kicks there in that phase of play. The, the kick from, yeah, from Faiva yeah, yeah. was probably uh, uh, Vianu, so it was too long. Just wait, not a lot of pressure on Racket, and he just returned with a long kick. Travelled over the goal line, but I think his forwards, or both sets of forwards, were pretty happy that the ball did go over. He could touch it in for a 22 well, and get the breath back. Like, yes. uh, all smiles in the crowd. There's a fair degree of uh, pain well, down. On the pitch, okay. Sakalia is coming on. Actually, Tonga right, had just get him behind, 16 on because uh, Nuamu was already back on, Tonga. knowing that Sakalia was coming off. James Faiva. Romain Untamak waits. Goes high. Come. Charles Olivon chases. <laughs> That's a wonderful catch. Release that blue! By yeah, Ve Ainu. Pass in. Five again. Maxi Midal this time. 16. Raka. Hasn't seen much of the ball in the second half. Away comes Paul Gabriag. Cut eye as well. Jeremy Vakatawa. Thank you. Gabriag. Takes it on. 
Oh, and another, another pass just slips out of his fingers. Hands possession back to Tonga. Piutau, that's not bad. Halai Fanoa is in charge. Damian Pano read it pretty well. Found Neda. Oh, blue, wide, please. No messing around. Only nine points the difference. 63 minutes nearly gone. Veainu prepared to take France on in contact. New scrum half. Fukufuka feeds. Alanuka Nuka. Fukufuka. We've gone into a little kicking period of the game. Meda gets away from one. Feeds Kamara. Back feet, white, 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 back. Dupont. Thank you. He's very elusive. Telusa, Veino. Yeah, he's off his feet now. A little bit more adventure. Piotr, good pass to Manu. This is back to Piotr. Keep going, ten, please. Fiver. Nobody in hot pursuit for Tonga, but there's a steady line of white shirts in front of Maxim Neda. Keep that mark, boys. That's going to be a scrum. No, it's not. Very well judged by Maxime Meda. Yeah, there's a nervousness, <laughs> isn't there? And the way that France are playing now, as Viano just waits and waits and waits, trying to bring up the French defence before he touches the ball down. He's entitled to do so. But it's never the best idea when you're trailing the game and you need to get back ahead. But anyway, he brings it, Cyril by. <laughs> have to touch it down, he's like... As it's Cyril Bai was, was sent out as a... An emissary to go and <laughs> make and sure the ball, yeah, the ball did come. Good. Changes on, in the front row. Munipola Fifita comes on. Let's get him behind. Yeah, yeah, it was a nervous it. period of counter attack there from, from France. There's one or two opportunities oh, to really have a go at counter attack because the, the kick chase was was slow into position from Tonga, but France opted to kick themselves in case they made the error in their own territory. Siegfried Sihoi is off the field for Tonga. Charles Olivon. He starts a little counter attack. Released out, out, Tucker, out. Well, there's no sign of Tonga's aggression slackening. Good little dart by Dupont. Oh, right outside to Haka. Good pace by the winger for himself to chase. Vakatawa there as well. Haka has reclaimed it quite brilliantly. Lohe arrives. Luru is there as well, and Tonga win the penalty under extreme legally, pressure. It well, it's Nasi Manu who gets back contest. and wins that penalty. 20's on that. The number 20, an incredible That's recovery a from Rakat to win that ball, or to get that bobbling ball. Somehow he got his hands back on it. Incredible pace at the left-hand side after Dupont's floated pass. 10, guys. But Nasi Manu won the penalty. But just another glimpse how dangerous Raka is with ball in hand. Just been the story of this game is how many times the French have just given the ball away. 13 times in that first half, and it was a real Ten. stopper to any momentum they're trying to get. But you can see what they're capable of when they do. The pot's so dangerous and finds the man on the pitch you want in open space. How he gets his ball back, dropped to the left foot. It's maybe fortunate with the bounce, but actually just fights to get that bang. And he twists towards the line and look at number 20 there, Nasi Manu. Fresh off the bench, what an introduction that is. Brilliant piece of play by the back row. And he's not too bad either, Raka. Such a danger with the ball in hand. Ali Veretti, Raka. More changes for Tonga. Fresh legs to drive the ball forward. 18 and 70, Halanuganuka, Fifita. Another Fifita, Muni Pola this time. Ooh, ooh. Contact on the floor there. Piu Tao, the captain. Sit there, sit there, sit 
Matumi Fosita is on. It's gone loose. Good bit of footwork yeah, by France. Yeah. Vainu has to go back and he's chased down very well by Pierre Louis Barassi, who wins his first cap for France coming off the bench. Wearing 23 in the mall, helping hold up. It's one, it's come loose. It's going to be a try. Damien Penault scores for France. Well, Damien Penault finishes off after a, a lovely little break up the short side from Antoine Dupont. The French really know who this pace is and exploit it so, so well. The kick chase was well followed up by Barras in his first cap. Penault was there as well. And once the ball came back, it was just a snipe up the short side by Dupont, ever aware. And Damien Penault crosses over on the right hand corner. It's a fourth try, it's a bonus point for France. Damien Penault yeah, with the try yeah, that looking. puts a little bit of daylight. And it was there was a crowd of blue shirts around Toulouse Vaino. And they wrenched the ball off him. Away comes Dupont. Damien Penault scoring. Yeah, just sneaked up the short side. I'm wondering if we're checking if the ball had moved forward at some point in that play. Is Nick Berry going to let? Yeah. We'll have a listen to what he says. He's going to let Kimi Lopez take the kick. There's a suspicion of a knock on and a tackle, the contact prior. We're just waiting for Nick Berry to. Got hmm. that Cami Lopez will have to wait. It'll be a knock on, not in the mall. It was previous, just after his kick. Did it hit Medar's hand and go forward? Nick, the last action is it touches the blue hand before it clearly goes forward from the cross kick here. Just this last action right there is a blue hand. Yeah, okay then, mate. So where's the mark for that? So we'll go back for a white scrum. Yes, we'll be back for a white scrum. Sure. <laughs> Tonga are still in this game. Yeah. The margin remains at nine points. France yeah, for the so second time. Denied a try. Yeah, I actually thought a lot of the, the Tongan players didn't go back as quick as they should have done because they assumed it was knocked okay. forward by Medal. Scanning, just to confirm, was it first knocked on by White and then off Blue? So it's a Blue scrum, or was there only a knock on from Blue? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, so it's going to be your scrum, because White knocked it on first, and then Blue, so that's why we couldn't play advantage. It's going to be a Blue scrum, White knock on first, and then Blue. Yeah, Watch you, mate. Thanks for that, buddy. It's good captaincy by Garado there, just making just sure... Just come on, OK, so make sure we keep that space, all right? Keep that elbow up for me. Making sure that the first knock on came from Tonga. Well, who would be a coach on looking there? Last time the French were disallowed to try, the Toggins went the length to try and score. Works, not got the ball now, it's going to be a big defensive display now from this Tonga team. Crouch! Well, the first three defenders of the scrum for Tonga are very tight, and then there's a gap between the 13 Five. and the winger. That's a space Six. that if France can get a, a decent scrum, they could try and attack. And just to give all that cheering and laughter in the French section of the crowd. Yes. <laughs> a, down. They're not quite so happy now. Anyway, here come France, they've ready. knocked Put it on. on in midfield. Pierre-Louis Barassi. There's... That's a poor hand mm. from France. First phase, reasonable scrum, and you've got a space to try and attack. Yes, Tonga are actually... They were shifting in defence, which you don't often well, see. You usually see the defensive up. line getting set and square and hold its line. Off, but they actually closed the gap that they initially okay. offered uh, France. 19. But the ball was knocked forward in the contact in the first phase. That'll frustrate Jacques Brunel and the coaching staff. 19. Leva Fifita has had his side, okay? head assessment, no, he's passed it, so we have okay, a guys. double Fight. Fifita on the pitch. Yeah, sure. Turn back on. Vunipola in the front row. Elbow up, you've got Leva in the second row. Now then, what have Tonga got left? They trail by nine Cross. points. Just over ten minutes to go. Got a lot of new pops up. 
Step back, please. You need that space, all right, James? Yeah. Okay. Tell the boys behind you, guys, take the weight off. Take the weight off, okay? I need that space. So many changes in the front row from the first half. In fact, all, well, it would have been all six, but Nguamo's come back on, so Nick Berry just setting out the law again, trying to get the rhythm, the timing. That was a struggle in the first Cross. few scrums, but certainly improved as the game's gone on. Five, set, hold. Referee happy with the Tongan scrum. At the back, hold blue, stay on. Come away with it. Stay. With a bit of dynamic running. Little run by Shelly. Let him go. Wait, sorry, Hingano. He's tackled. Never Fifita. Oh, risky pass from Fosita. But Tonga have got away with it. They're on the move. New scrum half. Fuka Fuka. Old fullback. Veino. Right wing. It's gone out. It's gone out. It won't count. Well, it was a good attack, wasn't it? By the Tongans direct under the, the big tackles by France, but then as soon as they got quick ball, they were able to shift it. That was a risky one that Camille Lopez almost got away, but as a result, Calamofoni did really well to make extra yardage. And then Raka steps in again, and oh, Cooper Vuna's foot just touches the line there under pressure from Barassi. Good tackle from the youngster. Yeah, thank you. Pierre Louis right. Barassi of off, Lyon. Please. Blue, I need you to come in. White, step off. Oh. Let's go. That was Sam Lucy going off the field. Charles Olivon at the line out for France. Out 12, out, keep going. Ball's available. Dupont looks up. Puts a bit of top spin on the ball. Safely down. Yeah, good game management by the number nine, wasn't it? A set piece move to get contact in the midfield, well cleared. And then with the game being so tight, just a top spin kick. Yes, you're surrendering possession. It's a tongue and throwing, but it's in the right area of the field if you're French support. White, come in, please. Blues, take a step. He seems to have plenty of energy left. <laughs> It's a firecracker. France yeah, picks off a line out. Girado straightens. Kamara drives forward. Back white. It's stopped now. Lore. Advantage over from the knock on. Picks up. Leroux carries it on. I don't think France are going to do too much long passing now. Olivant again. Cyril Bay feels the weight. Clever little kick. And it's very well read by Telusa Veainu. Well, his awareness is very good there, Veainu, because that was a clever kick from Dupont. You could see the, the ferocity in the tongue in the fence. No matter how hard or how physical France were and how hard they're running those channels, they were getting hit hard and stopped in the game line. So a change attack just to chip it over. But well covered by the fullback. Kupavuna hands it instead to Latumi Fosita. Meda. And again, France just kicking Tonga back. Hey, no. hmm, didn't get as much distance as he wanted there. To Taikefu, the Tongan coach. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be frustrated with that. Be so proud of how his team have come back into this game, and they're still in it yet. The Tongans, the physicality in defence, and also Blue, let's go. their ability to keep possession. They've lost the territory battle in the second half. That's a sign of the France kicking game, but they've had most of the possession. Tonga. Olivon again had a good day in the line out. Oh, Raka. 
Lopez's pass was read by the Tongan defence. Dupont surveys the options again. Suddenly, darts himself. And France again has spilt possession. Tonga will have to put him at the scrum. Well, they've they've kicked Tonga back in the second row, but the handling game erratic. Well, there have been so many errors from France. Some of them yeah. are unforced, right, some of them forced with the style now, of play, and some of them just really good work from the Tongan defence. That one's unforced from Dupont. He actually does well to make the yards initially, but got to keep hold of the ball for longer to apply more pressure. 13 handling errors for France, or just up to 14 if you include that one. It's a phenomenal amount of errors, you do perhaps have to question about the consistency of this French team, particularly in their selection, that if you don't know intrinsically what the person next to you is going to do from out-and-out repetition of practice, it's very difficult to build that, and that's sometimes they've been a real flaw of this French team which we've seen so far in this World Cup. Well, we've seen glimpses of Crunch! France at their brilliant best, but Fire! for so many periods of the game they, they seem to shrink. Setiano gives away the free kick for not going down. It's a good charge out. Here's Fosita. Daniel Faleafa leads the charge as well. Fosita again. The heavyweights, the other Fafita takes it up. Vunipola Fafita. Nuamu tries to go around by Tonga up to halfway. <laughs> Penalty to Tonga. If they score quickly, they would still have time for a second score. They need to score twice to win this game. Yeah, only a good kick here. This is this is a moment where you can almost risk, I believe, the kick to touch. Don't go safe. Fusita can really, really try and make as many metres as possible. Yes, with an accurate kick, but as close to the French line as possible. It's not bad. It's, it's sort of around the 22-metre line. Mm. Sometimes the line, there's moments right, I think you back, can mate. push the envelope. Thanks, Kenny. Blue, you got the line, just okay? Have a look at the massive card player of the match is Alavaretti Rakov. There's one player that's letting up this fixture. It's him, creator of the first try, scorer of the second. An incredible return for his 13 ball cars of 142 metres made. Pretty special stuff. Alanuka Nuka down to Manu. Get out, 17. You're off your feet, 17, stay blue. Fuka Fuka feeds the forwards again. They've got a real appetite for this. Fosita oh. again. And clean through is Captain Siali Piatau. Oh. oh, it's a fantastic tackle. On him by Barassi. Tonga, though, still poor forward. What have they got left? Back to the big forwards. 13. Marietto Hingano, the try scorer. It's a penalty advantage for Sita. Dummies with the kick. S stays on his feet. Tackled. Bye bye. Fifita. Fuka <laughs> will go back to the penalty. No, we won't. The little kick. Oh, brilliantly taken. Zane Capelli scores. Have Tonga got time to win this game? They must score again. There will be time to take the restart. Well, what a kick. What a kick from the replacement scrum half. Fuka Fuka over the top of Damien Perot. We're going to check it. The time's going to go off. We're going to check it, says Nick Berry. We'll have a listen to what Nick Berry has to say. What is it going to be? Well, it certainly looked like there was a few areas of contention around that breakdown a couple of times. Barry nearly went for the whistle in and around that pickup. Okay, Let's see what he's saying. Come back on. Oh, look. They were checking for a potential knock-on. They've had a look. It's fine. 
and what a score that was an amazing break by Higano, a wonderful tackle from Dupont and then Tonga kept possession and a lovely chip kick over right in the hands for Capella to score. Atumi Fosita, a little bit of curl on it. It's good enough. 23 points to 21 and time for a restart. Here's the finish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely immaculate. Millimetres from Damien Pano, who's exceptional in the air. And try in the corner. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Last minute drama. Between France and Tonga. Tonga, have they got oh. one more play left in them? Jakuba Kamara denies them the opportunity from the restart. France built the ball off the pitch as much in relief as delight at winning this game. France have come through. They qualify for the knockout stages of the World Cup, but that is not a team that is absolutely on top of the game, overjoyed at all this, but they are there, they have beaten Tonga by 23 points to 21. Tonga have lost three games, it means they cannot qualify for the last eight. Aliveretti Araka is the player of the game, France won, but look, they are out on their feet with exhaustion. They had to battle to win this game right until the very end. Absolutely, two points in it. And the French coaching staff there, they look frustrated, but yes, they've got the victory. Yes, they didn't play as well as they could, but that's down to Tonga. How impressive were the Tongans and the ability not only to come back after falling behind in the first half, 10-0, but they're just the ability to change their game they had the direct game when they, when they needed to to get them scored just before half time. And then that second try there was wonderfully created and scored. A real good all round performance by the Tongans. And France, well, they'll march on, they'll qualify. But they were run very close by a spirited and impressive Tongan side this afternoon. A second victory for France by a margin of two points. They beat Argentina narrowly, and now they have beaten Tonga narrowly. But it is the fact of winning three games that means they go through. Well, that's they all they have, have to do. England to play. That's all they have to do. They only have to win the games, and they've done that. And sometimes the teams who go on, you can't play at the top of your game for, for the whole tournament. But you must stay in the tournament by winning your fixtures early on. And France have done that. Much of the applause you hear around the stadium is for Tonga, how they battled to the very end. Siali Pietau, you spoke throughout the week about wanting samurai spirit. How much spirit was on show in that game? Oh, I think the boys showed up, you know, we wanted to play. Obviously, we bought their physicality, but, uh, you know, our errors, again, once again, cost us in the uh, first half. But I'm proud of the efforts from the boys. And towards the end of that game, was on an absolute knife edge. What were you saying in the middle of it? Oh, we spoke about doing your job, you know. We had one job to do. Obviously, we didn't take that kick off and, uh, you know, we paid the price. But uh, equally proud of the boys and the, and the way we turned up today. And specifically, a defensive effort. You kept the French out for so long. Again, you're going to take that going forward? Yeah, a lot of positives to take from this game. And, uh, obviously, uh, we want to finish strong next week against the USA and uh, you know we'll take the positives and uh, obviously it's an awesome crowd that we've got here you know they've been backing us from Kochi to Shimbara and right here to uh, Kumamoto you know we'll, we'll be forever grateful for the people here. Thank you very much for your words Kelly. cheers. Cheers thank you very much. Well here are France marching on. Tonga have that last game in the pool against the United States of America. Thank you to the crowd. Say France. But Tonga 
will not be too disappointed. They will come out for their last game and give it everything again. Yeah, and it's not just effort. I mean, there, there was a massive amount of effort, but there's quality in there as well. There's some, obviously, physicality, but there's some really good understanding and changing tactical details in terms of where to attack. Are you attacking direct? Have you got a kick attack? Yes, they have from that try. You could see that. Their set piece could improve, and certainly too many errors at times. But there's a quality there that Tottenham can be proud of. In France, well, they don't look too happy, but the three from three, and they're marching on towards the quarterfinals. Well, Gregory Aldrit with me now. A game with many positives for the French, but many errors. How do you try and get that performance for the full game? Yeah, it's been a really, really tough game with a physical player. We faced physical player today. We knew it was going to be really tough, but we are playing a quarter-final, so we are really happy for that. Absolutely. Qualified now. Very important to have done so. What positives are you going to take forward after this game? I think we can uh, positive uh, on our engagement we put, in the intensity we put uh, on the on the tangents, and uh, we will uh, get back to work next week to uh, to face uh, England. Bear with me. La prochaine étape, le crunch. Oui, prochaine étape, le crunch. Uh, ça va être un joli match. Merci. Thanks. <laughs> uh, any game between France and England as a nice little game. Doesn't really set it up properly. No, no, that'll be a big, big encounter, and they all get bigger, don't they? As we get towards the, certainly the, the determining games in the pool stages, then come the knockout games. Supporters will join, whatever it is, the big part of the day this afternoon. Well, Totai Kefu, as the crowd behind us are chanting Tonga, you must be a very proud, yet a little bit frustrated coach here. Definitely frustrated. Again, you know, we didn't get off to the best of starts. Um, and as you can see in the end, that probably told the difference. And you wanted that 60-minute performance. You got the 78-minute performance. Where do you think that ranks in terms of things to move on with? Oh, look, it's a, a, the guys dug in there. There was a period there where the game was in the balance and the guys hung in and they hung in. You can't question their effort. It was, blood, it was really good. Um, you know, obviously, we've just got to have a look at that first part of the game. And that's your fourth game consecutively against top-ranked teams. How much can you take from that and how much have you grown? Oh, well, I mean, if you go over those four games, we've steadily improved each one. If we have games like that every year, we're going to be a really good team. Simple. There we go. Hope we get more of them. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Bringing Tonga together to play for their country is always a problem. These players are scattered all over the world. But it's it's party time here in Kumamoto. We'll have a look at that. Three lineouts lost for Tonga will be a little bit of concern. Obviously, France scored from one of them. Handling errors 14 for France. That's a concern from them. Yes, they like to play an offload and fast game, but you've got to be a little bit more accurate than that come knockout stages. 16 offloads, hints towards that fast game that France want to play. 544 metres made. Tonga come out on top in terms of possession overall. Territory is fairly simply, uh, very even, but France come out 23 21 winners. Midars can celebrate as a family. A yeah, little puff of the cheeks there from Maxime. He knows it's been a tough day in the French office. <laughs> yeah, and he did the right thing at the right time, Maxime Medard. Not the flashy brilliance you often see, but he kicked at the right time. And when the pressure came on towards the second half, he put the ball in behind Tonga. And didn't try to force the game. Tonga. Oh, 
give their thanks. Come together one last time. They have one more game to play. Can they finish their World Cup with a victory against the United States? They have failed so narrowly here to beat France. Yes, happy France. <laughs> Not perfect France by any means, but flashes of brilliance, but then periods when it just provides nothing but frustration. Well, Virumi Vakatawa, that was a really intense game. How did it feel to be on the pitch, that experience? Yeah, first of all, I would like to thank the Lord for the power and the strength and also for the win today. Uh, credit to the Tongan boys today. Uh, tough, tough game, we know that uh, it's not going to be easy for us, but we, we managed to, to stay on our game and uh, get the win uh, today. And the people the question asking all around the world is how do the French team get the likes of yourself and Raka, the ball ball? How many turnovers and why was that? Uh, we, we are so blessed to be here and to be part of this uh, French team. And uh, we, like I said, we are so blessed and we are so lucky to be here in uh, Japan. Our first uh, Rugby World Cup and uh, we're looking forward to for the next game coming next week. Yeah. And it's going to be a big one. In terms of answering this in French, quelle est ta réaction en français? I didn't understand. Sorry? Your reaction in French. Ah, uh, on est content de, pour la victoire aujourd'hui. Même si c'est dur, on sait que c'est compliqué. Euh, les Tongiens, ils sont bien joués aussi, et donc euh, on est content avec la victoire. Merci. Can I say something in Fijian? Oui. Je vous remercie de votre nom, mais je vous remercie de votre nom. Je vous remercie de votre nom. Je vous remercie de votre nom. Je vous remercie de Iceland appearing in the European Championships in France. Obviously caught on. One thing that France will be impressed with is the discipline. Only six penalties conceded this afternoon. Before this, there were an average of, what did you say, over 12 per game. So half the number of penalties, much better from France. Well, we've got some big smiles on the face of Alavetti Racco, MasterCard player of the match. You looked like you had fun when you had the ball out there. How was it for you? Uh, but first of all, just want to thank the Lord for the game tonight. Uh, I'm really happy for myself, what I'm doing uh, today. Uh, for the first ball, I just when I did just give it to me, just going for going front and give it to Virimi Vakatao so we can have a first try for the games. So we're really happy. And there'll be a lot of teams now scared around the world watching on, seeing yourself and Virumi Vakatawa in, in combination. How much fun is it playing together? Uh, yeah, uh, for me, uh, happy playing uh, next to uh, another Fijian, so really happy we uh, talk a lot. So, like, easy for us, uh, we, ta we, take on, uh, we talk on the same language, so it's easy for us. And last word on Francais. Uh, je suis content aujourd'hui et... Uh, Aussi, merci les supporters que vous êtes là, là. Euh, merci beaucoup pour vous. Euh, just uh, some uh, Fijian words back to the village. Je vous remercie de vous donner un peu de temps. Je vous remercie de vous donner un peu de Thank you. Merci. Well, obviously, you don't, I have no idea what you said here, but if we bring in for a lovely presentation, Mastercard Player of the Match, Zhongji, to give the award. Lots of flags around the ground for Clermont Auvergne. Of course, they have an academy out in Fiji.
Jefferson Poirot and Ciel Piotau leading out the two teams. France looking for the win that would put them in the quarters and off to a flying start. Turnover ball at the line out. And when they're playing like this, France nigh on unstoppable. The Fingian combination, Raka to Vakatawa. Yeah, Raka doing the damage, stepping against that sliding defence, powering through the tackle, getting off the way to Vakatao, and that was the first try from France. Came from an overthrow, but they really are a joy to watch when they play like that. Baptiste Sorin quickly yeah, taking the free kick. And Oliveretti Raka involved again. Good little pick up by the winger. France's second try. And everything going so smoothly at this point. Yeah, bonjour, very happy. Backwards, that's backwards too. And then that's all forward. of a sudden, Tonga coming to life, keeping the ball alive by any means possible. Kupavuna kicking downfield. Maxi Meda watching the ball anxiously. And the follow-up by Mario Toa Hingano. Even better things to come. The cross kick has been such a feature of this World Cup. Zane Capelli on the end of this one. They still had time, Tonga, for one last effort. Here's the finish by Capelli. They had time after the conversion. They needed to catch the restart as well as Capelli caught that. They couldn't, and France crept to victory.